The other day I saw a post on Facebook from longtime Steve Perry fan DeVita Williams suggesting that fans of Steve's work should consider nominating him for a Kennedy Center Honors Recognition. As other people started sharing her post and echoing her encouragement, I conducted a little research about the recognition and started to reflect on my own and realized that this truly might be the right time for a concerted effort on the part of Steve's fans to take action and help Steve get the recognition that he so richly deserves. So, what is a Kennedy Center's Honor Award recognition anyway? And what does it mean? Well, according to Wikipedia, it's an annual honor given to those in the performing arts for their lifetime of contributions to American culture, although recipients do not need to be U.S. citizens. The honors have been presented annually since 1978, and each December there's a star-studded gala celebrating the honorees in the Kennedy Center Opera House. Over the years, musicians such as Paul McCartney, Barbara Streisand, Billy Joel, Neil Diamond, Sting, Gloria Estefan, James Taylor, and Lionel Richie have received the honor. Also, a couple of bands, the Eagles and Led Zeppelin, have been recognized as well. So, this brings us back to Steve. He has been, after all, given the nickname of The Voice. Why? Because he is the voice of a generation. A generation of young men and women who grew up in the late 70s and early 80s. Other musicians from that generation are now at the point where they're starting to be recognized for the significant impact they had on American culture. And while there will be naysayers out there who point to Steve's extended time out of the limelight, I think what is more important is how Steve affected his fans during those years where he was most productive. His impact on the band journey was transformative to say the least. Albums like Infinity, Escape, and Frontiers were a high watermark not only for the band but for the music industry as well. And of course Steve's solo works, while separated by almost a decade, are works of art by a musical wordsmith and a craftsman that stops at nothing to come as close to musical perfection as possible. So here's the deal. If you agree with me, why not type Kennedy Center Honors Recommendation into Google and submit Steve's name. He deserves the recognition. He really does. That said, if there's someone else that you are passionate about, nominate that individual. Lou Graham? Go for it. Anna Nancy Wilson of Heart? Sure, why not? Dennis DeYoung? Sounds like a good nomination to me. And then, when you are done, if you fondly recall Steve's musical body of work, why not submit a nomination for him as well? After all, there's no rule that says you can't make two nominations. We all know that Steve chose not to perform with Journey at their Rock and Roll Hall of Fame induction. As much as we all would have liked to have seen it happen, I think in our heart of hearts we knew that Steve was a man of his word when he said that he had passed on the baton to Arnel Panetta. However, if Steve Perry, not Journey, were to be recognized and receive the Kennedy Center Honors Award, there would be nothing standing in his way from performing a song or two from his large catalog of hits. Now, don't get me wrong, I realize that this is a long shot. But still, if there was ever a forum, a venue where he might be convinced to share his musical gifts again with his fans, this might be it. As the song says, don't stop believing. Okay, I won't. Alright, you guys know the drill. You've gone and made that nomination, right? Now let me know what you think in the comments section below. I truly love to read your comments and learn more from each one of you every day. As always, I'd love a thumbs up on this video and I'd be honored if you'd consider subscribing to my channel. But most importantly, as always, thank you so much for watching.